What's up, Digicoin Daily Squad? Ready to tune in for another exciting episode? I bet you are. I am always thrilled to have you here. And today, our crypto roller coaster has some steep climbs and dives. But remember, we're all in for the ride. Ever heard the phrase, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and then you win? Well, we're knee deep in then they fight you. This is the phase of the crypto world and it's about to get wild. Remember June 15th? That's the day we marked as the official start of the crypto summer. And would you believe that's when BlackRock, the behemoth of finance, threw its hat in the ring with a Bitcoin ETF application. You heard me right. The giants are stepping into our playground. I told you it would happen, didn't I? Why did I believe in BlackRock's application? because they're part of the secret club that we aren't invited to. This mysterious club, possibly operating from an undisclosed location in Europe, plays a huge role in the financial world. And now, they're ready to play ball with crypto. Short term, it might steer the waters, but long term, it's a leap toward mainstream adoption. We've seen the different phases in crypto history. The initial years from 2009 to 2015 were met with indifference. Oh look, nerds and geeks playing with their magic internet money. Come 2016 to 2021, the world laughed at us. Now it's 2022 and the world's financial titans are itching for a fight. But the fantastic part? We've already won. The decentralized world is not a concept anymore. It's happening and it's here to stay. But remember my friends, with great power comes great attention. We've managed to draw some serious bucks out of traditional banking. And well, they're not too happy about it. With $100 billion poured into crypto platforms like Celsius, Voyager, and BlockFi, the big boys are shouting, Houston, we have a problem, and pointing fingers at us. But their fight can only slow us down, not stop us. Now, as this unfolds, you might have to confront some fears. Picture this. Being a wealthy individual in 1933 with gold bars and suddenly being labeled a criminal. That was rough, right? But we've got an edge. Our community is more powerful, better distributed, and we're global. Crypto is reshaping the world, erasing the boundaries of nation states. It's no coincidence that the bear markets of 2017 and 2021 started with the announcement of Bitcoin's futures ETF. These events were nothing but an opportunity for the Wall Street biggies to short and then buy low. Despite the accusations, we're not in the business of money laundering. But guess what? It seems some of our detractors might just be. All this happens on chain, which ironically makes it far more transparent than traditional money transactions. Right now, we're stepping into the mid game of this crypto ball game. We've passed the initial setup and now it's the real battle. This phase is where the true players will reveal themselves. And let me tell you, our opponents, Bank of America, JP Morgan, and the like, they're not stupid. They're shrewd players, plotting their moves carefully while they publicly downplay crypto. But hey, speaking of tricky moves, 
Did you catch Bitcoin's weekend party? The old champ surged to its highest level in a year, hitting over $31 late Friday night. What a show, right? And our buddy Ethereum also made a brief comeback, crossing the $1,900 mark. So keep your eyes open. The game is far from over. Remember, as Churchill said, this is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. Thanks for joining me today, Digicoin Daily Squad. I hope you enjoyed the ride. If you did, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and click on the bell notification so you don't miss out on our future trips through the crypto universe. Before you go, don't forget to check out these other awesome videos right here. Keep learning, keep growing, and until next time.